Mr. Jack. Santa is coming. Wrappings and toys littered the floor, an incredible mess that I did abhor. With mum in her note, with mum in her robe and I in my jeans, we waded in to get the place clean, when suddenly the doorbell rang and it started to clatter. I sprang to the security view to check out the matter. The new fallen snow, now blackened with soot, was trampled and ice and treacherous to foot. But suddenly in view did I gasp and pant, I had a happy bill collector and eight tiny accountants. The door flew open and in they came. Stern looking men with bills in my name. On Discover, on Visa, on American Express, on Mastercard too, I sadly confess. Right to my limits, they beyond my right to my limits, then beyond my net worth. Over the top I had charged in a frenzy of mirth. Black suited men, so, so sombre, so strict. I wondered, why me? They had first picked. They stared at me with a look I couldn't miss. They said, Buddy, why are you paying for this? I shrugged my shoulders, but then I grew bolder. Went to the cabinet and pulled out a folder. As you can see, I said with a smile, it's bankruptcy that I've had to fly on. And with a swoop of my arm, my middle digit extended. I threw the bills in the fire. The matter had ended. The scent of burnt ash came to my nose. As up the chimney my credit worthiness rose. Without another word they turned and worked out. Got into their limos, but one gave a shout. You may think that's the answer to all of your fears, but it's nothing you'll charge for at least seven years. So I hope you've enjoyed story time with Mr. Jack. It's been going on and on. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed story time with Mr. Jet. If you've enjoyed these stories, I know I have. I've enjoyed telling them to you. So I want you to enjoy the rest of Christmas and have a brilliant new year. And don't watch the Queen's speech. Merry Christmas.